Hi friends, welcome to the series Glimpses of Legal Legends of India. In the present episode, we will be discussing the life of B. N. Rao, that is Benegal Nursing Rao. He was born on 26th of February 1887 at Mangalore. He studied in Cambridge, cleared ICS exam and was allotted Bengal cadre. After the initial service in government, he was appointed as a district and session judge. He was also a reformer commission. B. N. Rao was then appointed as a judge of Calcutta High Court in 1935. During his judgeship, he was given the responsibility of reviewing the existing laws prevailing in India and what sort of a modification which would be required so that the laws and the society remain on the same page. He was also instrumental in formulation of Government of India Act 1935. Subsequently, after his retirement, he was made Prime Minister of a princely state of Jammu and Kashmir. When the constitution was getting formed, B. N. Rao was appointed as constitutional advisor to the constituent assembly which was framing the constitution of India. In the course of it, B. N. Rao probably travelled various countries to understand the nature of their constitution, the effects, the merits, the demerits. After the exhaustive tour, Rao came back to India. After coming back, he prepared a questionnaire and the questionnaire was distributed to every member of the constituent assembly and based on that questionnaire, the things could be settled. After the constitution was formed, B. N. Rao was the sole arbitrator for a dispute between Reserve Bank of India and Central Provinces. He was a permanent member of United Nations Organization of India. The greatest honor was that B. N. Rao was appointed as a permanent judge of the International Court of Justice at Hague. Such were the contributions of B. N. Rao that when there was a reform which was being proposed in Hindu laws, he gave his dossier stating how it should be done. To some extent, his suggestions were accepted and accordingly, the Hindu law which was formed in 1955-1956 came into existence. T. Mamurabi salutes B. N. Rao.